Now from the home of the 2023 U.S. Open, EA Sports welcomes you to the Los Angeles Country Club in our continuing coverage of the world of golf. With Frank Navalo by my side, I'm Rich Lerner. Frank, as weekend golfers know, there's always part of your game that you're focused on. So I'll ask the question, what are you going to be looking at here today? Tee to green, Rich. I, I know people always say putting's important. I'm not going to say it's overrated, but tee to green. If you want to play good golf day in, day out, fairways greens, that's the secret. And that is just what you're envisioning when you're on the range. That's positioned nicely in the right side of the fairway. Well within range from here. A second now to the par five. Nice way to start the day, Frank. Straight out of the gate, and the barn door is officially open. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. And a great tee shot there coming off the eagle at one in the fairway and looking for more at number two. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notavigay the third. She's left herself with 117 yards sitting in the front left hole location. Just a sand wedge, and it looks good. Oh, that was a good strike. Took it straight at it, too. That one bounce and check. Well played. Coming off the eagle, this for birdie. That's as stress-free a birdie as you're going to get on this course. That is well done. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Frank, on an uphill shot like this one, did you do anything differently in terms of your setup over the ball? Yeah, I made sure the ball wasn't too far forward because on an uphill shot, there's always a struggle to get all your weight going forward. Ah, good approach shot. And birdie putt coming up. And, uh, approach shot just a little right, a little short.
Yes, a good look at that one. All the way in. It's a birdie to push that score to three under for the round. the touch there beautifully done we haven't seen many closer than this all day it's for birdie yeah good job there to cash that in a brilliant tee shot to this par three and it winds up a no stress two She just seems to be on autopilot right about now. That, another good drive off the tee. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. This one's looking good. Got every bit of that, flew it all the way there, and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Oh, yeah, that's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. And this, not the longest hole players will encounter, so just an iron off the tee, and it works out to perfection.
And here at the 10th, with the iron in hand, and hits it stone cold close. Now this for another birdie. If only they could all be that short. Very well played there. And it results in an easy birdie. Oh my goodness, Frank, I think that baby went in. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. So Frank, downhill shot, what's the right way to play it? Well, normally downhill, you're also reducing the amount of lofts. So you've got two choices, either hit a little bit easier or actually take a, a little bit more loft. And showing no fear at all. Eagle at the previous hole. And look at this. This looks like a certain birdie. Yeah, can't take those for granted. Good concentration there. And it's in for a birdie. Rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. 130 is the number left of the flag today. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. Oh, it was a good strike. I could tell that by the uh, sound as the ball came off the club face. That little bounce and check. Well done. Okay, that nothing more than a tap in, and that's how this round has gone. Just a sensational display so far.
So, Frank, this a bogey-free round, and I'll tell you what, those are not easy to come by on a course like this. Yeah, not a blemish, and it really didn't look like that, too, so well in control. Uh, 